distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends. Today, we convene the Sino-American Youth Dialogue, themed making carbon neutral youth in action. First and foremost, on behalf of Tsinghua University, I'd like to welcome you to this important dialogue. And we are honored to co-host this important event with MIT. Our special thanks go to President Drive, the China-US Exchange Foundation, and our colleagues and friends who have been working extremely hard to make this happen. Thank you all for what you have done for this important dialogue. Here, I'd like to highlight some special connections between Tsinghua and MIT. Tsinghua was founded in 1911, 50 years after the establishment of MIT in 1861. Our two universities have a long-standing partnership, which could be traced back to 1996. Three years ago, in November 2018, the MIT Executive Committee, led by President Drive, visited Tsinghua campus. We conducted in-depth exchanges and discussions on our partnership and collaboration for innovation and agreed to further expand our cooperation to more disciplines and areas. Climate change is one of the most frequently discussed topics nowadays. How to deal with climate change and mitigate natural disaster risks have become serious issues for all countries, which require collective efforts of the global community. We believe that only by uniting together can we establish a more reasonable climate governance system and achieve the vision of sustainable development. The attitude and actions of you the youth of China and the United States are crucial in this process. At Tsinghua University, we believe leading universities should play a leading role in shouldering their responsibility to tackle the most challenging issues confronted by humankind. In December 2017, we established the Institute of Climate Change and Sustainable Development in May 2019, 12 universities from six continents, including MIT, gathered in Tsinghua University to officially launch the Global Alliance of Universities on Climate, GOC. Since then, we have successfully held two GOC graduate forums in 2019 and 2020. On January 6, 2020, President Xi Jinping sent a letter in reply to the student representatives of the GOC graduates forum, expressing his appreciation for their concern for the shared future of mankind and his expectations for their active zeal to protect our common planet. More recently, Tsinghua established the Institute for Carbon Neutrality which is a larger important initiative to contribute wisdom to sustainable development and to building a global community for a shared future. In April, we celebrated the 110th anniversary of Tsinghua. We hosted the Global Forum of University Presidents 2021, where more than 300 university presidents and participants in the forum, pledged a Tsinghua consensus. The consensus advocates universities to undertake greater social responsibility by becoming more open, more integrative, and more resilient. In the future, Tsinghua University will continue to leverage its strength in science and technology to play an active role in key areas such as climate change. I hope by engaging in this dialogue, we will be able to discover new insights, build mutual trust, learn and grow together. In the face of challenges set by climate change, we need all our wisdom, energy, and creativity to promote mutual understanding 
and embrace a greener and a more beautiful future for all. No carbon, act now. Thank you.